Peter Delapena with USA middle order bat Aaron Jones after a tough 13 run loss against Oman here in Moosa Stadium in Parallel, Texas. You guys come off the tide match yesterday, the disappointment there, and again today you fall short. Just take us through the emotions of the team right now after two tough days. Um, obviously, uh, definitely two hard days for the team. Um, we actually a bit guilty of coming out on the back in uh, tight games. Um, over the last probably few months that, that we would be playing cricket, but um, so it goes sometimes um, We just got to pick up our heads and play the last game hard Coming off the situation yesterday, you were out in the middle at second to last ball Getting out to the full toss when there was just one run in can be a big mental hurdle to get past But you come out today and score three runs short of a century your career best in ODI cricket for USA and just six runs short of your overall career best 103 against maybe a couple years ago what was the key for you to just being able to move past what happened yesterday to be able to perform in the way that you did today with the bat? Uh, for me personally, I like to just um, take it day by day. Whatever is done yesterday is gone. Um, I, I woke up this morning and I just told myself um, I can start again, start fresh today. And um, yeah, I, I came out on top. You started off quick and you ended pretty quick. After you got past 50, you were scoring at a very quick rate. You changed your bat. It looked like that was part of the magic touch, switching bats. But there was a little bit of a stretch. I asked Monik Patel during the live broadcast, the post-match presentation. 10-over stretch from 24 to 33, where USA scored 26 for 2 off that 10-over stretch. And the scoring just slowed down quite significantly against the spinners. There were three spinners operating. And you were right there in the middle during that whole stretch. From your perspective, what made it so difficult to continue scoring in that stretch that allowed the momentum to shift a little bit towards Oman in that sequence? Um, I think the spinners from Oman, um, they're smart spinners. Um, they push and pull in terms of some balls they ball slower, some balls they ball faster, some balls they ball from behind. I think especially the captain, he does it well. Um, so yeah, um, I guess that was just a period for Oman. Going forward, what's a takeaway that you'll come out of this game with, whether it's that sequence or any other part of it, Chase in particular, that you feel is an area to improve upon where you are able to get across the line in the future? Um, I just think we definitely have to find a way to get over the hurdle when we come down to tight games. Um, <clears throat> definitely we're going to be working on it for sure after today. But um, I, I think we've been playing some good cricket and I just want us to continue playing that good cricket. I don't really want to dwell too much on it right now. Any other thoughts you have on the performances over the last two days? Um, last two days were tough, was, was tough for USA. Um, obviously yesterday we know we could have won the game. Um, we ended up tying and today obviously we lost by 13 runs. Um, <clears throat> I just, I just think that's how cricket goes sometimes. We can't really dwell on it, as I said earlier. Um, we just pick up our heads and come hard against Nepal in the last game. Aaron Jones, USA Middle War Brett, thank you. Thank you.